Join Wendy Mesley for Sunday Report tonight at 10 on CBC. Up, the Canadian Football League's top honor belongs to an American team tonight. The Baltimore Stallions beat the Calgary Stampeders. Here's Eric Sorensen on the big game. It looked a little like a pro-Canada rally, but not even the appearance of the Snowbirds cut avert an historic first in the Canadian Football League. Try as fans might to influence the outcome. And I'm cheering for Calgary, and they're the Canadian team, so I want the North to win. Even the weather turned cold and windy today, something that should have been an advantage for the Canadian team. Because it's Canadian. It's, if it was warm, it wouldn't be Canadian football. I think this makes it totally Canadian. It's great. <laughs> Breaks the, first the game itself was exciting. The entire Grey Cup week has been a success in Regina. To the end zone. I can't believe a city like Regina, a small city like Regina, could put on a show like this. It has been fantastic. This has been a great week for the CFL, but one good week doesn't solve the many problems facing the league. Virtually every team is losing money, and the CFL is teetering between the American teams dominating the league or deserting the league. Even as the Americans are taking the Grey Cup away, it's unclear whether the American cities will remain in the league. They could tell you everything's fine, but each one of them's got a different vision of the future of the league. I don't think they've got a coherent vision for the future of the league right now, whether it's all Canadian or half Canadian, half American. Depends who you talk to and depends what day you talk to them. But most fans are only thinking about tonight's historic game, an American team winning the Grey Cup. The Grey Cup that came... What does it mean to see this cup go south to you? I think it sucks. I mean, it won't ruin my life or anything. But... Oh, if they're going to participate in the league, they should be entitled to all the benefits of it. From Baltimore fans, only elation. <laughs> Feel guilty at all taking the taking the cup out of Canada? No! We're number one, great cup, first time ever! For now, Canadian fans will have to get used to the idea that the Grey Cup is no longer in Canadian hands. Eric Sorensen, CBC News, Regina.